Welcome back to Wiseman Company, everyone. Ben Brown here yet again. And today, this is a friendly reminder to do a checkup on your AR-15. There are a lot of new gun owners in the United States right now. Guns are just flying off the shelves 2020, early 2020 into May and June. A lot of new AR-15 owners. Hopefully you guys are shooting them quite frequently, getting that training in, getting that round count in, just so you can familiarize yourself with your AR-15, know what you're capable of and what your gun is capable of. As you shoot these guns though, there's some things you should check up on. We're gonna cover that today in this video. It's very simple to do, just a few points to cover, but I think it's gonna help you in the long run. All right, this is my 11 and a half inch Ballistic Advantage AR pistol. If you're new to AR-15s and you need to outfit it, you need some nylon gear, a sling, maybe a split fix for the SB brace that you have, head over to wisemancompany.com. We have all that stuff over there. It's gonna help you out a ton. The, again, this is my 11 and a half inch Ballistic Advantage uh, pistol. Been shooting this gun a lot. I love Ballistic Advantage products. I think they're well-priced, and I think they give you a ton of value. Don't ask me for a round count on this because right. I don't have one. I've put a lot of rounds through this gun. This is the gun we're going to focus on today because I recently did a checkup on it. I shot it a lot, and I started to notice, you know, just little oddities here and there, and I figured, eh, let's, let's see what's going on with it. Let's break it down, see if there is any thing that can be tuned up, fixed, tweaked, that sort of thing. First and foremost, we're going to talk about cleaning right off the bat. Cleaning your AR-15. Some people get really religious about cleaning their guns. I don't. I'm a big fan of lubricating frequently. Love the lube. I do it frequently. It's important. I run most of my bolts wet. A lot of sexual innu innuendos there. Go ahead, do your Michael Scotts. That's what she said. But Lubricant is very important. Cleaning, a lot of these guns, they run great without cleaning them every thousand rounds. I tend to clean my guns every 5,000 rounds if I had to put a number on it. And what I mean by cleaning, I'm taking the bolt carrier group apart, charging handle out, and I'm cleaning the chamber. So those three areas take the most of the time when I'm cleaning. I do not run a brush or patch down the bore of the barrel. I just don't think it's necessary, and I like a seasoned barrel. So again, I'm cleaning that charging handle, taking the bolt carrier group apart, and cleaning the chamber. If you want detailed instructions on how to do that kind of stuff, there are a ton of videos on YouTube on how to clean the BCG charging handle, etc. But I'm telling you guys, that is the first place you should check when you're doing your checkup on your AR-15. Everything happens there. All the magic happens in that area. So bolt carrier group, charging handle, and chamber. And I am simply wiping everything down, re-lubricating everything, putting it back together. Cleaning is huge, lubricating is even bigger. All right, next point we're gonna cover, checking for loose parts. What do I mean by that? As you shoot this gun, you're basically containing an explosion every time you shoot your AR-15. Stuff go. can rattle loose. Screws, optics, rings, lights, lasers, grips. Everything has the potential to back out. I'm not a big fan of using Loctite if I, if I can avoid it. I like, I like Loctite, the blue Loctite. I don't use red, uh, but if I can get away without using it, I prefer to do that because Loctite, too much of it can really be a problem if it's applied in the wrong areas or you accidentally put too much on. I'm not against Loctite, but if I can avoid using it, I will avoid using it. So check for loose items, particularly optics. Optics will shake loose. It's going to affect your zero. Lights will start to wiggle loose. That's a problem. There's nothing more embarrassing when you're at a class and then all of a sudden your light drops off the front of your gun. Big oops there. So checking for loose components on your AR-15. Again, the number one spots to look are optics and lights. So those are the two that I see 
really start to come loose quickly with lower round counts. Over longer round counts, I would check your barrel. Yep, I would check your barrel, see if that's loose, see if there's any play in it. Is that barrel nut starting to back out? And I have seen that happen on very high quality builds, BCMs, Daniel Defenses. I have seen with higher round counts, those barrel nuts start to work themselves loose. It just happens. It's not a knock on the manufacturers or anybody building their own AR-15s. The thing is, if you're gonna put these guns through the abuse they deserve and they want, stuff's gonna come loose, there's vibrations, and again, you're containing an explosion every time you shoot it. So, check for loose parts on your AR-15. Tightening up now, lock tightening them now, is gonna help you in the long run and avoid a lot of aggravation. So check on all that stuff. Next, let's talk power. I'm talking batteries. Check those batteries. And if you haven't checked your batteries in a while, well, and we're doing this AR-15 checkup, you might as well swap them out because it's just easier to play it safe. So CR123s, hopefully you have a lot of those on hands. Swap out those flashlight batteries. If your optic takes a battery, make sure you're swapping that out. Nothing more aggravating than going to a class or a competition or even just a range day and uh, pulling up to the line and noticing that no ticky, no washy on the optic. So check the batteries, swap them out, keep spares on you. It's just gonna avoid a lot of headache and it's important in that AR-15 checkup. Last and not least, I think this is the most important one, confirm your zero. Your rifle, your AR pistol is worthless without a good zero. On this Ballistic Advantage build, I had noticed lately that something was a little off at distance. I had been shooting targets around 250, 300 yards, and holds weren't quite the same. Uh, it just, just seemed off. So I figured, you know, this is since we're going to do an AR-15 checkup on this gun, let's do some different loads, see what's going on, and try to, you know, diagnose the situation. So what I did here is a little bit of overkill. You don't have to do this. What I would recommend is just take a round that you commonly shoot, whatever it is, surplus bulk ammo, and group it at whatever your zero is and figure out, hey, is this still holding zero? Does something need changed? Something need tweaked? And make adjustments off that. In my case, I did, I think, six or seven different types of ammunition, and my zero had shifted a little bit. And that was because with this ballistic advantage, the tolerance between the upper and lower had changed. There's a set screw in the lower receiver that can tighten those tolerances between the upper and lower, and that came loose a little bit, and that was enough to affect the zero. So I tightened that up, made sure everything was secure, shot these groups, changed my zero a little bit, tweaked a little bit, and I was back in action. It wasn't a huge difference, as you'll see in these groups, but at distance, it does make a difference. So just to be sure, shot a bunch of different ammunitions. The barrel is still good. This is a good time to check your barrel as well because with these groups that you're shooting, you can tell a lot from the groups as far as is my barrel starting to wear out? Is it loose? Is, does it like a certain ammunition? There's a lot you can glean from a group shot off a of bench rest. So, I just did a bunch of them, worked out great for me. As you can see, some of these are more impressive than others. I'm not a great bench shooter. Ballistic Advantage does guarantee that their barrels will shoot sub MOA with match grade ammo. Every time I've tested that, it has been true. So kudos to Ballistic Advantage. They do put out a good product, proof's in the pudding. But last but not least, confirm that zero. You wanna know what your rifle's capable of. That that confirmation of zero is gonna give you confidence as a shooter, because you wanna put rounds exactly where you want them to go. So that's the last point on my checklist. Guys, let me know what you think. If I missed anything, anything else that I should double check on in, on an AR-15 checkup. Again, this is just for the AR-15. Probably gonna do a handgun one as well. 
but congratulations to all those new AR-15 owners out there. Welcome. You are now really exercising your Second Amendment right and using the American rifle. Guys, a little tip for the people that have been shooting AR-15s a while now. Make sure you're welcoming those new people. Don't be a D-bag because no one likes that. Make sure you're welcoming, welcoming them, helping them out as best you can. Guys, again, leave me a comment down below if I missed anything. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Go check us out at wisemancompany.com. Again, we sell a lot of great gear that you can outfit your AR-15 with. My name is Dan Brown. We'll see you on the next video.